Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fake a function that Notion doesn't have, which is creating a rollup of a rollup. And it's really simple. And so far I haven't found an application where it won't work, but I welcome you helping me test it out to see where it will. So we're going to use three different databases for this. Uh, we're going to use my journal, which is my, I access through this on this day page, um, my weeks database, which I access through my week in review. And then we're going to use this to um, sort of gamify my outer order database. So this was inspired by Marie Poulin's domestic awesomeness database um, and her use of gamification for that. So all this database is, is just a list of different tasks around the house and then a point value assigned for each one um, to sort of display its relative difficulty um, in terms of how it feels to me. And um, clearly this is not a full database yet. I'm just starting to play around with this, but I thought it was a good time to demonstrate this feature because I've already encountered it as I'm trying to do my weekly review. So over here in my video demo workspace, I'm gonna go into my day and we're gonna come to today. And you'll see that I've already, um, oops, I already did this in a previous demo. So let's delete that and we'll delete this. Sorry about that. I'm gonna recreate those so you're gonna see how it goes in a minute. So I've already connected this database um, to my daily outer order tasks. So I've, can, I've picked those tasks. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna create a way of looking at those point values on a daily basis so that I can sort of do a quick check-in by day to see what my point values are. So I'm gonna go down here to add a property and um, that kind of a property is a roll up. So I'm gonna do my daily order points that is a roll up. And so now I need to just configure that roll up. So I'm going to select an existing relationship, which is my outer order. And I choose which property I want, to, which is the points. The default is to show the original. So it just so it shows a sequence of those. That's nice, but I actually just want to see the total. So I'm going to choose some here. And now I can easily see that property and I'm going to move it up here. So it's right next to its its corresponding value. So that's great. Let's go ahead and look at what that looks like on a couple of other days. So if I come over here to my weekly review, I can see the other days that I've got set up in this week. Um, I've got 55 points on Friday and on Saturday, I would have had 65 points. These are fake because I didn't actually unpack my suitcase um, from the trip that I got back. Aspirational when I get there, but it's a good sample. So um, a couple of things about this, um, you could do this with loads and loads of other things. You could do it with workouts. You could do it with pages read. You could do it with pages written. You could do it with all sorts of things. And the power of this really does come from the roll up. And what you will encounter inevitably is that you're going to want to take this value and use it again in a higher level database. Um, and so let's look at what that looks like in our week database. If I want to, um, roll this up, delete that property, we're gonna create it again. I wanna essentially create another roll up of a roll up. And so I wanna find what my average daily order points were. And if I come here and I try to do another roll up, you'll see I've got this magnifying glass. That's a symbol for a roll up. If I go over here, I select my relation. It's my journal, select the property. And I come in here to look for the property as I scroll through here even though I know there's a magnifying glass property in that other database, there is no magnifying glass in this database. You cannot do a roll up of a roll up. It is a missing function in Notion. So here is how you fake it. We're going to go back into our day, um, into any one of our days, um, and we're going to create a, another formula that just repeats this value. Now, formulas might scare you. This is the easiest formula there is because um, we're simply going to repeat a value. Um, so this is going to be daily order points for rollups. And that's just how I name them. You can name them however you want. They do have to be distinct names within a database. And this is going to be a formula. And this formula, again, is very, very simple. All I need to do is just restate this daily order points property. So I just typed in DAI to find the value. 
just click the property and then that's it. You're done. You have created your formula. That'll work with text. It'll work with numbers. Um, it'll work with dates. It'll work with lots of different things. And we'll go ahead and drag this up here to keep these together. So now I can see that those points are the same. And if you want to just check it, we'll go to Saturday, see same value, Sunday, same value. And let's say that I add a, an additional task to Friday. Maybe I remembered that I washed, oops, washed something. I washed and dried the lights perhaps. So, so notice that that value changes. That's great. So now if I go into my week database, now I can go here to my, my roll up that I started to do. I can configure that roll up again and come in here. And now that formula symbol, which should be right there. There it is, daily order points for roll ups. And now I can do all of those calculations on that that I want to. I'm going to actually do the average because I think the average is more interesting. And I see that my average over those three days, 76.667 points. So that's pretty cool. And I could see that across many, many years. Let's say that I wanted to replicate this if I had like a quarter database or a month database and I wanted to replicate this there, I could just do that same thing again. So I could use that formula property again, um, average order points for roll up. Just walk you through this again, just to see it. Cause this is probably the hardest part of this. Click here and do average. There it is. Just select that property and hit done. And then you'll notice you get that same value all over again. It is rounded when it's rolled up. It's not rounded um, in the actual formula, which is kind of an interesting thing about how Notion handles math. I'll, I may dig into that someday because it's really interesting to me. Um, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description to um, Notion Mastery, which is Marie Poulin's amazing class. It's also, I think the community is even more important than the, the class. Um, that is definitely the community you want to be in if you want to be with other like-minded people who are using Notion. It's a fantastic class. And then if you happen to like these um, journal covers, I've got the weekly one and then these daily ones. Um, uh, another member of the Notion community created those, and I'm going to link to those. You can purchase them on Gunroad. I think the package is $20, um, but she also gave it away for free to several of the people that were in uh, Notion Mastery um, for reasons like this, that we help promote them because we love each other's products. So um, that's another one of the amazing side benefits of being part of the Notion Mastery community. So come join me, have some fun with us doing Notion. And if you've got questions or want to see other Notion videos, be sure to comment below and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.